Hey everyone, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Julia, I am a Dallas-based flight attendant. So I wanted to explain something to you guys. As flight attendants, we have two different types of schedules. One is called reserve, and then one is called aligned schedule. This summer, I am doing more reserve than I normally would, and that is because I needed to flip my rotation. And what I mean by rotation is, with my company, we do one month reserve and one month align. But the way my schedule was set up, I was gonna be on reserve in August, and since me and Eric are going on vacation in August, I really needed that to be my line month. If you guys are interested in learning more about our schedules and would like me to do a more in-depth video about exactly what our schedules are like, let me know in the comments below. This is P.O. Today he worked his first flight to San Diego. Did you have fun? I did not. I was you, oh, you did not have fun? I had fun. Great. Uh, and this is Donald, my friend in the back. He is the best teacher ever. Yeah? I'm the senior papa. Senior papa. We just made it to our layover in San Diego. It's a super long 10 hour layover for his first layover ever. <laughs> Let me show you guys a tour of this room. It is huge. So here's the bathroom. Cute, I like the wallpaper. A big closet right here. A big mirror right here. Two beds. Which bed would you guys sleep on? If you're staying in a hotel room that has two beds, do you sleep on the bed that is closest to the wall or closest to the door? Very large TV, a little fridge, a desk, a chair, and then the view should be nice tomorrow morning. Hopefully we'll get to see some boats out on the water. We just got to San Diego, the flight was really smooth. I got this trip off of airport standby. So it's pretty easy today, we just went from Dallas to San Diego, and then tomorrow we go San Diego to Charlotte. So that's gonna be a pretty long flight. I think it's around four and a half hours. And then from Charlotte, we dead head back to Dallas. So it's a quick and easy two day trip. On this trip, uh, one of the crew members, P.O., he is working his very first trip today. So it's been really cool getting to fly with him and kind of show him the ropes. This whole crew has been really awesome. So I'm really looking forward to working with everyone again tomorrow morning. It's only 9 o'clock here right now, but it is 11 p.m. back in Dallas, and we do have an early morning pickup. We need to be ready and downstairs to go to the airport by 6 a.m., so I'm just going to shower and then head off to bed probably as quickly as I can. Good morning, everyone. Last night, I did not sleep too well. I don't really know why. I was in bed by 10.30, and then I woke up around 2.30 a.m., and couldn't fall back asleep for a while and then finally fell back asleep and then had to get up at five so I could get ready for work. It is about 5.55 right now and so I have about five minutes until I need to be downstairs and ready for the van to take us to the airport. But as always, I am ready to get my day started. just got home that was a great trip it was really short I wish I had a longer layover in San Diego because it looked really pretty the crew was awesome and I had a great time so I'm going to change and eat dinner and then I will tell you guys a little bit more about what I have going on tomorrow so originally I was supposed to be on call tomorrow from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. but then I refreshed my schedule and saw that they gave me a standby tomorrow evening at the airport I actually don't mind this just because like I've said multiple times before you are more likely to get a trip on standby than being at home the only thing I'm a little concerned about though is we do have some weather rolling in tomorrow it looks like it's gonna storm so sometimes that can make things go a little bit crazy and luckily since I only had one overnight in San Diego last night and I didn't even have enough time to go do anything I don't really have to repack anything so that's nice so really all I have to do tomorrow is repack my food 
It's now around 8.30 in the morning and I'm just going to make some oatmeal for breakfast. It's about 9.30 a.m. now and I'm about to head to the gym and hopefully get in a really good workout. Right now I'm meal prepping just in case I do get a trip. Some items I have in here are just cereal, oatmeal, bagels, and then down here I have nutrient bars and granola bars. And in this pan I am cooking pasta with chicken, broccoli, corn, and carrots in a garlic sauce. And I will split this into two and that will be two different meals for me. So from now until I leave for my vacation in August, I'm trying to eat super clean over these next two months. So really healthy meals, no soda, no alcohol, no candy, like no extra desserts, stuff like that. The only exception I will make though is if I get like an awesome trip overseas, then obviously I'm gonna allow myself to enjoy the food. I've been drinking these sparkling ice drinks a lot lately to curve my soda craving, and these are great. I highly suggest these if you have a sweet tooth. So I have one container of pasta right there, put an ice block on top, another container of pasta, followed by an ice pack. I have some apples and my ice drink. I'm just gonna try and shove everything in there and call it a day. I'm all ready to head to work now. I'm actually going to head to work quite early today because it has started storming outside and so I wanna give myself extra time to drive carefully to get there. I have a very good feeling that I am going to get called for something tonight because of the crazy weather. You can already see it coming in. It's already raining pretty hard. I'm about to drive to the airport. I am actually really nervous. I hate driving in weather like this. It actually scares the crap out of me. It's storming pretty bad and hailing really bad. So I'm just gonna take it slow. I need to take a minute and just breathe before I get out of my car. I safely made it to the employee lot. I have ADHD and driving already makes me a little bit nervous. So driving in weather like this honestly terrifies me. While driving over here, I also heard on the radio that there was obviously a severe thunderstorm warning and also a tornado warning. I grew up in Las Vegas, so I am completely not used to weather like this. I know a lot of people are probably used to weather like this and think I'm probably being a baby, but thunderstorms and hailstorms like this really just frighten me. Last time when we had a severe thunderstorm like this and a hailstorm right over the airport, it actually ended up damaging about 45 or 50 of our aircraft and it damaged them to the point where they had to go out of service. Now all of those planes that were supposed to leave Dallas and go onto elsewhere and then onto somewhere else and it's just like a domino effect, it ended up canceling so many different flights across the country. So I'm just really hoping that for the passenger's sake and for the crew's sake that nothing like that is going to happen today. I can already tell that there are no airplanes taking off or landing. I haven't seen any movement for a few minutes, so I'm assuming that there is a ground stop. So I'm going to muster up some courage, put on my rain jacket, and head to the employee bus so I can get into the airport and see what scheduling needs me to go do. My shoes are soaked, and it looks like I did my hair for absolutely nothing today. Well, just walking through the airport, almost every single flight looked like it was delayed. I didn't see any cancellations though, so that is a good sign. I ended up getting a trip. I am in St. Louis. It was just one flight over here, but it's 12.20 a.m. right now and I am exhausted, so I really just wanna shower and get into bed. And then I will tell you guys more tomorrow about the trip and what I'm doing. Good morning, I am in St. Louis. I am starting to get ready for work. So I was on standby for about three hours yesterday and then I got called to work one flight to St. Louis and the flight had already been delayed a few hours. So weather can obviously have a huge impact on not only like a specific airline, but the entire airport in general. So 
I got an email yesterday. There are over 335 departure cancellations, 60 plus diversions of aircraft en route to DFW, five ramp closures due to weather, and five ground stops. So that is what happens when there is a huge storm. Okay, I am just about ready to head out the door, but I just refreshed my schedule and saw that we have been delayed coming out of St. Louis and I have no idea why the flight has been delayed. I hear some thunder outside. I'm wondering if maybe that is why the flight is being delayed here in St. Louis, but I'm going to try and remain as positive as I can and just really hope that this is sort of the only hiccup I have throughout the day. So I'm back safe and sound from my trip. Normally I don't vlog two trips at once, I kind of just do it one at a time, but I feel like from my first two day trip in San Diego, I didn't have enough footage or enough video to really make a good vlog out of it, so I decided to just kind of continue it on. If that's something that you guys like, go ahead and let me know because I've never really done that before. So something people ask me all the time is why flights cancel. And I feel like this video, it would be a really good way to sum it up by giving you all an explanation. In terms of weather, I would say that lightning and hail are the biggest reasons why a flight might cancel due to weather related issues. And that is because lightning cannot be within a certain radius of the airport because A, you don't want your plane to get struck by lightning and also you don't want any of the ground crew to get injured either. And the ground crew are the people who handle the luggage, the caterers, the rampers, all of those people. The other issue with weather is you might be in one destination where it's perfectly sunny and beautiful out, but the destination you're going to has really bad weather and there's a ground stop. Another reason why your flight might cancel is due to a mechanical issue. These are like multi-million dollar machines basically that fly you from one place to the next so it's really important that we take care of them and that if the mechanic says something's wrong with it that is to the point where we can't fly it then we really need to trust them and know that they're keeping us safe and there's a reason why this plane needs to be put out of service and looked at into further detail. I don't know about you guys but I would much rather my flight cancel or delay than get on an aircraft that is not safe to fly. We hear you guys. When there's delays and cancellations, it's not fun for us either. We hate to see it happen. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me some comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any of my travel tips and adventures. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!